Good morning, church. We are the voices of Joseph Generation, and we're just going to go around introducing ourselves. Um, start from over here. My name is John. The spectacular Adidas. Give me uh, I'm Victor. My name is Dame Lady. I'm Ayumide. I'm Treasure. I'm Noeline. I'm Ademide. The one and only Tumishi. Uh, I'm Semi. You already know who it is, the big drop, Keith. <laughs> okay, um, you're probably wondering why we're gathered here in a semicircle. Um, so we decided to come together and talk about our fathers, our feelings, our thoughts, our explanations, meanings, you know, everything. Father's Day. So what do you guys think? Mm, I don't know if I should start with the definition. Let's start with the definition of a father. Who do you guys think a father is? Not dictionary title. Like, who do you think a father is? That's a deep question. Very deep. Very deep. Yeah, let's, let's dissect it then. Let's start with you, Treasure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, oh, a, wise, what do you think she's a wise is? woman. Mm. Wise. Share your wisdom, please. Bless us. Um, a father is a protector. He's the head of the family. Mm. So, yeah. Simi, what do you think? Deep, deep. I think you're right. I support your answer. What do you think? A uh, father is the boss mm. of the house. Deep, deep. Mm. I love that. What I believe yes. is a father is someone who cares, provides, and protects. Okay, okay. Why do you think fathers should be celebrated? We got a lot of answers from here, so let's transition here. Mm. Mm. Why do you guys think fathers should be celebrated? I think the reason fathers should be celebrated is because a lot of childs, when they don't have a father role in their uh, life, they can go wrong. As seen yeah, as America, because many kids don't have father roles in their lives, and they end up going to jail. Like, just, without a father you, figure, they will go astray. Yeah, it right, just matters right. if you have a good father. Mm. Dave what do you think? Me, I think fathers should be celebrated because they should be because they deserve it. They have witnessed other people being celebrated, so it's only right they get celebrated. Mm. Mm. What? Do you love most about your father? This one, I feel like everybody should have something to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I love most about my father because he gives, his, he gives us good advices on how like to do things in a situation. If something happens, he advises us on what to do. That's nice. That's very, very, very essential. Money. Wow. Money. That's wow. also very, very uh, essential, especially in this economy. And it's also very difficult to find a job, my dear. That's uh, his dedication. Whenever he says he's going to do something, he always does it. Mm. I think. I think. Me. One thing I really like about my dad is, uh, you know, he's, he's. There are like a lot of things that we have in common, like football now, same soccer team, same kind of, you know, like I'm. I'm pushing it, not because mm. he's doing that, because he's also. Awesome. Mm. Just, it's, it's like I just like the fact that in that way I can gain from someone that has already gone through what I want to get so I just yeah. like the fact I, that you have somebody to look up to directly that's right. nice that's yeah. some, someone to share similarity with yeah. cool. what about you? what do I love? Um, the way we're able to like communicate over things that we're both interested in like it's like, for example, like you said, anytime me and my daddy are talking about ball, it's, it's, it's always lovely because we, we don't support the same teams, but the conversation is always there. Mm. What do you think, um, Victor? Yeah. Uh, he's, he takes, uh, a father takes responsibility uh, despite the situation. Uh, he finds a way uh, to make things right and uh, make everybody feel comfortable and uh, uh, everybody... Uh, to, to speak this up out because uh, sometimes uh, when you talk to a mother, she's like, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, some things uh, you're not comfortable sharing with your mother or sister or brother, but when you sit down with your father, you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and uh, he will lead you and guide you uh, in the right way. Yeah. 
So what I love, I, there's a lot of things I love about my father, but the one that sticks sticks out to me is that when my dad talks to me, like when we have talks, he's always trying to prepare me for the future <laughs> world, giving me advice on what to do, because like he cares for me so much that so. I love that about him because he cares about me so much that he talks to me a lot and gives me advice what to do. Uh, even when I do uh, things wrong, he's always there to support me and show me the way to do it and just guide me. That's what I love about my father. What I love about my father is he has my best interest in his heart. Like He always mm -hmm. thinks of me. Even sometimes when... I don't see it from his perspective. He has, like, he has a set future that he has for me. And there are some expectations that he has for me that sometimes when he puts it on the table, I don't go with it. But when it comes to, like, limelight, you can see that it actually made sense when he was saying it. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I like the fact that he puts me and my siblings first. Yeah. One word to describe your dad. Yeah. Ademide, what's one word to describe your dad? Dedicated. How about you, Keith? Can I say two? Sure. Hardworking and caring. Mm. I'm just trying to look up the meaning of the word I have in my head. <laughs> I think I'll say uh, uh, perfection. Mm. For me, I would say aspiring. I aspire to be like him. Okay, I looked up the meaning. It's the right word. Conscientious. Huh? C conscientious. What does that mean? <laughs> oh. Wishing to do what is right, especially to do one's work or duty well and thoroughly. I like He's generous. No, it's different. He's generous and a good listener. Mm, that's very, very important, especially, you know, because there's this, like, stereotype that African fathers don't listen. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. very, very important. <laughs> Compassionate. Mm. Selfless. How <laughs> about you, John? Caring. Mm. Nice. Nice. If you want to tell him something, what would that be? Daddy, I know you're watching this right now, but you're going to watch it, yeah? At times, it may not seem as if I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I just want to say thank you, and it's really shaped me to becoming the man I am today. Aww. So thank emotional you. now. Then, I want to tell, I'll tell my dad something. Me, and this will be cautious of that word, so I'll just say it in Spanish. Te quiero mi papa. Translate so it means I love, I love you, daddy. daddy. That's what he's saying. Aww. I love you, my daddy. Like, yeah. Like, daddy, my dad. Yeah. That's what Dustin said. I, I know you're watching this, and I want to say, even though that you're not home most of the times, and you're driving on the road, when you come home, I always appreciate your company every single time, and makes my day better. Yeah. I would just want to say I love you, Dad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to say thank you to my dad. Even though he gives the rules, they might be strict, but. After sometimes I follow, I see the um, importance of the rules given, mm -hmm. and to say thank you for the um, for like the guidance because those rules are made to guide me uh, to lead me through the right path. So I just like to say, say thank you that I love you so much for all you have been doing for me. Yeah, I just want to say thank you as well. You know, thank you and cops. I want to say. Uh, Whenever he comes back home for work, I appreciate his guy, the guidance he gives me and all the advice he gives me, any bad things I do. Oh, sorry, I have one more thing I want to tell my dad. In English? Right, let's go and watch Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming to Maryland soon. Let's go and watch that match. Trusty. Like, who's paying you or your dad? Because, you know, when you invite obviously, somebody for something. Obviously, dad is paying. But he, you're the one that invited him. <laughs> If you invite somebody for dinner, they the one that will pay or you. I'll pay him back in credit. I <laughs> like to thank you for everything. In caps, right? Uh, I want to thank you for uh, inspiring me to be the man I am today. And uh, uh, if it was not for you, I would be a street boy right now. Yeah. But uh, I thank you for encouraging me and uh, being there for me. 
Yeah. Thank you for being there and for supporting me in my choices. Oh, thank you for the money. What is something your father does now that you would like to do with or for your children? I go. Uh, me and my daddy watch both together. And then I remember last year he took me to go and see Arsenal game. So I would really love to do that with my son or my children when I grow up. Because really, I really love it. Yeah, for me, because the boy, my son, if he's a son, I would love to like, you know, watch, like watch um, Chelsea games with him. Any game, actually. If he's a fan of any game. If he's a Liverpool of, fan. Except for Liverpool. Any other Man, you're on top. Any other team. Watch it. Watch it. And if it's a girl, uh, <laughs> she can she cannot watch soccer. She can. What's wrong with her watching soccer? Right, that's not good. Actually, that. if it's a girl too, I will watch soccer because I don't know. What if she's not interested in soccer? What against? You find another interest. What, find another interest. what is something that your but dad does? We encourage does? her to be interested. In okay. Um, my thing is, um, you know, growing up as an athlete. He was in a lot of my games and stuff, and you know, whatever it is my child is into, like if it's sports or arts, I just try to be at every of the recitals, mm. their games, you know, cheer them on, bring flowers, that type of thing. I didn't mean anything. Something he does by now, uh, probably go every summer, we have, go to the uh, theme park at least three times. So I'd like to go with him. Uh, I will be supportive of whatever they are trying to do, and I'll be a good listener in times of like, even if it's a hard time, I'll try to create time for them, listening to them, whatever their suggestions, what they are trying to try to understand them. Uh, so, my dad, he like you when you tell him something, he will. He'll be like, I'll think about it later, I'll pray about it. But he will actually think about it. And let's say, and let's say you ask him, oh, daddy, let's go to the park. He'll be like, let me pray about it. And then maybe another day, we'll be like, after school, you guys dress up and we're going to the park. So I would like to do that with my own children. Yeah, like I said, he has our best interest in heart. So I plan to do that for my own children too. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would like to... Uh do is the same thing as my dad does. Like, uh, I think he does a very good job in guiding kids. Uh, even for like, uh, my my uh, my uncle's brother passed away. He's still there to guide them and do everything for them, and even uh, protect and care for them. He also uh, doesn't forget about them and always sends money back to you know, take care of them. Uh. One thing that I'll do to my kid, uh, I will help them uh, choose the right career uh, in what they're going to do because uh, some kids just uh, 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 choose it uh, because of friends or anything, but uh, I will make them uh, be open and uh, do whatever they want. Be helpful for the children and support with whatever. Your most memorable moment with your father or a day you would never forget? I. There are a lot of memories. I can't just pinpoint it, yeah. but I just remember it. there was this day that my dad was coming to the U.S. and I was in Nigeria, and he he has been saying he's going to the U.S. He's going he's going to the U.S. and then he didn't register until the day he was leaving, and then I just remember it. I was asking um, my grandpa if I could follow him to the airport and it was like no that there was no space in the car or something and I just remember crying and I remember my dad crying that was the first time I saw my dad cry I was like so I actually love this amount like that it's like I was crying and he was crying and he hugged me I was like I'm not gonna see my dad for like how many months so like yeah that's a day I'll never forget yeah there's, there's actually two I could think of I remember when I was small in the nights me and my daddy we used to go to cut our hair like for every like once like once few times. Sir. Then there was there was this one time I was like, Daddy, I want to drive, I want to drive. So he was telling me when we come back. So what he did was anytime we get into the estate, he would put me on his laps. 
then I'll be able to control the steering wheel, but he'll be in charge of the gas pedals and everything. And then fast forward a few years later, when I'm actually able to control a car, I learned how to do it from him, wow. which will forever stick with me. And then I remember there was one time I was in primary school. Mary was traveling. I mean, he traveled, right? And then I remember getting on the school bus. I just started thinking of it, and I started crying. Then the school bus driver called my dad, and he gave me the phone, and I was talking to my daddy, and I started feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> What I remember uh, is when I was like, I forgot, like six, I think not five, uh, back in Kenya when my dad left to Somalia to work for like a whole year. I remember that I used to miss him so much that I would start crying and stuff like that, asking my mom, when is he coming back? And I just remember like uh, when he's gone. I remember when I was gone, I was just like wanting to be at the house. And then when he came back, I remember I was so happy. And a day I will never forget is on my 10th year old birthday when my dad grabbed a whole chicken and was dancing with me and my sister feet. <laughs> A day I will never forget was when uh, my, it was still my first time coming here in America when my dad came to pick us up from the airport. It was like, it made already like five years I've not yet seen my dad. So it was like a happy day. For us, for me and my sister, we're happy. That's the memory I'll never forget. Today I'll never forget this too. I'll never forget with my dad. We went to Florida and we went on um, a helicopter, like basically around the, as close to the estate we, li we were living in. And also when we went to Six Flags and I saw him, on my, my, there was a ride at Six Flags called, called Firebird. It's like a tall roller coaster kind of, and I saw them riding it, and it was funny. Why do you guys think there is no Father's Day song? Very great uh, question. Uh, How about you? Uh, I think it's because fathers are uh, like really under underappreciated, because in this world, like mothers are seen as way more important in a child's life than fathers, but I think it's equally as important. Uh. I think uh, why there's no other song is because uh, uh, many people have a bad reputation about fathers, and uh, so like uh, people people sing, but uh, uh, leave out, uh, leave out. They focus more on their uh, the female figures in their family or in their life, but leave out the male. Uh, perspective of it. The reason I think there's no um, Father's Day song is because most people have came to see like a lot of fathers as a bad thing because of the stereotype of them leaving their family because of a lot of bad fathers out there. And I just wanted to add to that because of other fathers that choose not to be in their kids life um, fathers have been swept under the carpet, if that makes sense. But if you if you know the worth of a father, you should there should be Father's Day songs. If you know the worth of a father, it should also be equally appreciated, like, just like Keith said, as the mother. What food does your father make the best? And if your father is not, you know, a chef in it up type, what's his favorite food? Can I? I remember this one time. My mom, it was on a Saturday. It was my dad, it was me and my dad with my siblings, and then he there was there was no food at that time, so he went into the kitchen, and then he cooked yam, and then I looked and I was like, ah, so this man can cook, because that was the first time I saw him cooking something. I think his favorite thing to cook is yam. I just I just feel like it's yam. Yeah. Favorite thing to cook uh, and eat. I think since I, since I came, my dad is like, I think he's trying to solve and I don't even understand because he's. My grandma, when you hear her talk about my dad's cooking, you think that he's the greatest chef of all time. She's always saying, ah, if you hit your dad's fried rice, man, like, your dad must make fried rice for me before I leave this house. <laughs> but he, he only, it was only once that he made it since I've, since I've, been, a, I've been here. And I think, I think that's like probably his best um, thing to cook. In. Or maybe like, maybe just... 
My dad's favorite food is a kokore, and he knows how to cook it. Like he always says that he taught my mom how to cook it. So yeah. My the best food my dad can make is probably noodles. <laughs> like Indomie is. and his favorite food is any swallow like Eba, Semo all of that uh, the best thing that my dad can cook is chicken biryani but he only cooked it once so when you come back home I'm expecting it <laughs> so the last question if you could dedicate your song if you could dedicate a song to your father what would it be Daddy, my daddy, <laughs> your, baby, your baby singing, I'll oh, be singing, and that's it, and I'm trying to do this. Ah, let it lead. A dance for my father. Daddy, I dedicate this song for you. As you listen to this song, Daddy, I just want to say thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you guys for listening, for watching. God bless you. Adios. See you same time, same place next we year. We love you, Father. Happy, Father. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. The big drop, peace. Boom! <laughs>